So first of all, thank you so much for sending the messages on how it was when you got the diagnosis. It helps me to plan the tapping and to talk, you know, what I talk during tapping, it will really help me and it will help you to connect to that feeling, you know. So thank you so much. So today I have made notes about your whatever that you mentioned about what it felt like, you know, to first receive the diagnosis. And uh, I think let's start tapping. Yes. I can't hear you. I can hear you. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, Shivani. Great. Lovely. So we'll just tap, Shivani. I just want you to tap so that, you know, you're tapping on behalf of everybody. I don't want you to come up with your own personal experience. You can tap along. I mean, it's just generally so that we go slow and we go at the pace of tapping. And thank you for volunteering. Yes. Yes, Shivani. You're there. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I can hear you. All right. Lovely. Let's start tapping. Ah, okay. Before I start, I want to take a nice deep breath. Let's all do that. Let's take a nice deep breath from our nose. And out from your mouth. Another deep breath. Out from your mouth. And another one, grounding us to this present moment. Breathing it out. And before I move ahead, I want you to get your number, the SUD, the subjective unit of distress. What is the number? When you get to know, or how are you feeling right now with your child's diagnosis? Just give a number. You could put it in the chat here. You know, it'll help me. Zero, zero, you're peaceful. You've accepted, you're fine. 10, oh, it's really still difficult, you know. So that's where I want you to be. 10 is like really difficult. Zero, peace with it, you know. So just put your numbers. It'll help me to get an idea. And it'll help me because we're tapping as in general. So do put the number. Let me just see the chat. So we have, okay, we have eight, nine, Six, five, very good. Nine, good, 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 very good. Eight, five, five, nine, good, very good. Thank you, Sonal. Deepika, Shivani, great. Let's start tapping and uh, let's see where it takes us. Yeah, great, lovely. Let's start, Shivani, and uh, just repeat after me. Even though, even though, I, my child got a diagnosis. My child got a diagnosis. A part of me believes. A part of me believes. Why did this happen to me? Why did this happen to me? Why me? Why me? A part of me doesn't, a part of me has, hasn't yet made peace with it. A part of me hasn't made peace with it. It is stuck. It is stuck in that time. It is stuck in that time. Still stuck in the doctor's cabin. Still stuck in that doctor's cabin. Where the diagnosis was revealed. Where the diagnosis was revealed. Ah, oh, it's difficult. Ah, oh, it's difficult. Why me? Why me? It's really difficult. It's really difficult. Yeah. But I'm learning. But I'm learning. To acknowledge this feeling. To acknowledge this feeling. And honor it in me. And honor it in me. Even though. Even though. A part of me believes. Part of me believes. That I shouldn't have gone through this experience. I shouldn't have gone through this experience. Why? Why this experience? Why this experience? Why do I have to go through it? Why do I have to go through it? It's so difficult. It's so difficult. This shouldn't have happened. This shouldn't have happened. I shouldn't have had the need to go through this experience. I shouldn't have had this need to go through this experience. But I'm willing to. But I'm willing to. Make peace with these feelings. 
make peace with the spirit they have existed in me they have existed in me and i've been trying to push them away i've been trying to push them away but today but today i try to acknowledge them i try to acknowledge them and make peace with them and make peace with them even though even though a part of me is stuck in that in that time a part of me is stuck in that time and it's not letting me move ahead it's not letting me move ahead it's not letting me be a complete mom or a dad not letting me be a complete mom or a dad because i'm still stuck there i'm still stuck there a part of me is stuck there a part of me is stuck there it want and it feels it's justified and it feels it's justified i was having my own life i was having my own life and this suddenly changed everything you suddenly changed everything i did not give permission for this i did not get permission to this i was made to go through this i was made to go through this and a part of me is stuck there a part of me is still stuck there it is not letting me become a complete 100% parent it is not letting me be a complete 100% parent it is not letting me be present for my child 100% it is not letting me 100% be present for my child i'm stuck i'm stuck but i'm willing but i'm willing to start flowing to start flowing and to unhook me from that time and to unhook me from that time and maybe make peace maybe make peace with that other part in me with that other part in me who's trying to drag and move on is trying to drag and move on and it's really difficult it's really difficult but i love myself i love myself i love my child i love my child i accept myself i accept myself i accept my child i accept my child yeah this part of me this part of me is stuck is stuck it is stuck in anger stuck in anger stuck in disappointment stuck in disappointment the other pointers i'm just going to read them out i'm stuck in profound helplessness i'm stuck in profound helplessness how can this happen to me how can this happen to me a part of me is absolutely lost a part of me is absolutely lost a part of me feels anxious a part of me feel anxious so many little parts in me <laughs> oh, little parts in me all of them just wanting to be acknowledged all of me all of me just want to be acknowledged a part of me feels what after me part of me feels what after me part of me feels i'm walking this lonely path part of me feels i am walking this lonely path no one is understanding me no one is understanding me everyone is so different everyone is so different i feel as if i'm left in the midst of a sea feel like i'm left in the midst of a sea and i don't know how to swim and i don't know how to swim i'm just stuck i'm just stuck oh stuck with anger stuck with anger and devastated and devastated maybe even guilty maybe even guilty i'm confused i'm confused but i'm still willing but i'm still willing to love myself love myself and accept myself and accept myself there's another part in me there's another part in me that doesn't give up <laughs> it 
doesn't give up. It's a warrior. It's a warrior. Just wants to, doesn't want this victim consciousness. Doesn't want this victim consciousness. The other part feels there's a lesson for everything. Lesson in everything, I'm sorry. There's a lesson in everything that happens. There's a lesson. Other parts feels there is a lesson in everything that happens. Maybe there's a lesson here. There is a lesson here. <laughs> but my other part says no. But my other part says no. Sorry. Sorry. Don't give me philosophies. Don't give me philosophies. This is my life. This is my life. Don't tell me what lessons are. <laughs> Don't tell me what lessons are. So these two parts are just fighting within me. These two parts are fighting within me. I have never acknowledged this warrior self within me. I have never acknowledged this warrior self within me. I always thought that I'm anxious. I always thought that I'm anxious. I thought I was upset. What? what? I was upset. I was angry. I was angry. But the other part always existed. The other part always existed. Choose to thank that other part today. Choose to thank the other part today. Who was with me all this while? Who was with me all this while? It was supporting me. It was supporting me. It felt lonely. I felt lonely. I felt lonely. But this other part was there with me. This other part was there with me. I choose to listen to my higher self. I choose to listen to my higher self. I choose to listen to this other part within me. I choose to listen to this other part in me. I choose to understand. I choose to understand that it was always there. That it was always there. And I never gave it power. And I never gave it power. It is this part, the strong warrior part is this strong warrior part who's making me do this tapping <laughs> making me do this tapping who made me join this whatever emotional wellness series make me join this whatever emotional wellness series I don't know what this tapping is all about why am I hitting myself on my body <laughs> I don't know why am I hitting myself on my body my face why am I doing this I don't know why am I doing this but this warrior part in me, this warrior part in me, is not giving up. Is not giving up. I now choose. I now choose to acknowledge and thank this part in me. I now choose to acknowledge and thank this part in me for staying with me, for staying with me, and for making me do everything. For making me do everything to clear those emotional cobwebs. We clear that emotion cobwebs of worry, of worry, of this why me, this why me. I think I can manage. I think I can manage. Some days I think I can't. Some days I think I can't. But I am managing. I am managing. I recognize. I recognize and appreciate. And appreciate. And acknowledge. And acknowledge. That I was always doing my best. I was always doing my best. And I'm still doing my best. I am still doing my best. I'm still trying to be the best parent. Still trying to be the best parent. Some days I lose. Some days I do lose. And that's okay. And that's okay. I'm allowed to be a human. <laughs> I'm allowed to be a human. I am a human being. I am a human being. I just love myself. I love myself. I acknowledge, oh sorry, let's do it here. This is important. I choose. I choose. To activate and give power. To activate and give power. To this warrior self within me. To this warrior self within me. I have always been been fighting. I have never given up. I've always been fighting. I've never given up. And I'm not going to give up on my child. I'm not going to give up on my child. Never. Never, ever. Never, ever. 
ever i know that this potential exists in me i know that this potential exists in me or maybe i never knew this potential existed in me maybe i never knew this potential existed in me and it is my child's diagnosis and it is my child's diagnosis which transformed me which transformed me and made me see parts of myself made me see parts of myself that i never knew ever existed that i never knew ever existed how could i be so strong that i be so strong and so determined and so determined and perseverant and perseverant i choose to congratulate myself i choose to congratulate myself and say wow i just put my hands on my heart i just put my hands on my heart and tell your name thank you reena for doing what you did all these days for doing what you did all these days i just love you i just love you and when you're scared and when you are scared or confused or confused or lost or lost it's just because it's like my little child who's scared it's just like my little child who's scared i can love you I can love you and i can offer my compassion to you and i can offer my compassion to you so put your hand on your heart and just breathe in nice breathe in with your nose out from your mouth and one more time out from your mouth and one more time lovely let me see your numbers let me see where you are yeah show me let's see am i there am i can't stop crying go ahead and cry allow your tears to flow allow your tears wash your face allow your tears wash your face allow the, allow your tears please drink water if you have next to you drink water flush it out of your system it's okay it's okay just have some water okay and allow your tears allow the yawns it's okay knowing that you're safe just breathe great can't stop crying it's okay cry it's okay <laughs> i dozed off twice sometimes we doze off because you know it's so difficult to process those emotions so you just doze off and it's okay allow yourself to block it no problem you will have the recording <laughs> you can watch it again <laughs> okay very good i'm happy there is a little bit of a shift that has come in beautiful beautiful so now you know what i'm going to tap on the next point and uh, you know what we may have to repeat it in just one round of tapping we may not be able to let go of this pattern because this pattern has been there you know like i mean we are all you know our brain always sees what's negative brain will not see what's positive because that's how our brains are wired so it's okay you know if you repeat this tapping again it it will definitely help you feel better most common uh, con- uh, this thing the comment that came was anxiety for future so i just want to tap on a little bit of that and let's see let's go ahead shivani are there again yes ma'am great even though even though i feel anxious i feel anxious about my child's future about my child's future i choose i choose to focus on the present focus on the present even though even though i feel what after me what after me i have to make arrangements i have to make arrangements but but i do not allow that future thought i do not allow that future thought to rob my present time with my child to rob my present time with my child even though even though i have so much anxiety i have so much anxiety 
and I should have anxiety. I should have anxiety. And it's okay to stay calm in that anxiety. And it's okay to stay calm in that anxiety. And accept it. And accept it. Just as I would accept my child having a meltdown. Just as I would accept my child having a meltdown. I'll hug my child. I'll hug my child. I can hug my own self. I can hug my own self. I can offer my compassion to myself. I can offer my compassion to myself. There is anxiety. There is anxiety. So much anxiety. So much anxiety. Lot of anxiety. Lot of anxiety. What after me? What after me? People are looking at my child behaving differently. People are looking at my child behaving differently. What would they think of me? What would they think of me? I am being judged as a parent. Being judged as a parent. So much anxiety. So much anxiety. Oh, a lot of anxiety. A lot of anxiety. I cannot, I don't know how to handle it. I don't know how to handle it. All that I know. All that I know. That it's not helping me. <laughs> it's not helping me. It's not helping my child. It's not helping my child. It's not helping my family. It is not helping my family. It is not helping my present moment. It is not helping my present moment. What if I could calm down? What if I could calm down? And welcome this anxiety. And welcome this anxiety. Into my body. Into my body. Allowing this anxiety into my body right now. Allowing this anxiety into my body right now. And let it wash over me. And let it wash over me. Let it just go back. Let it just go back. Like the waves. Like the waves. They come. They come. And they go. And they go. So anxiety comes. So the anxiety comes. I catch it. I catch it. I notice it. I notice it. I allow it. I allow it. And I choose to ground myself. And I choose to ground myself. In the present moment. In the present moment. And I take decisions. Take decisions. From this space of clarity. From this space of clarity. Loving all the anxiety. Loving all the anxiety. Allowing it to get transformed. Allowing it to get transformed. Into my cells. Into my cells. And then. And then. Releasing the anxiety. Releasing the anxiety. From my body. From my body. Releasing the anxiety. Releasing the anxiety. From my lungs. From my lungs. Releasing the anxiety. Releasing the anxiety. As tears. As tears. Releasing the anxiety. Releasing the anxiety. As sweat. As sweat. Releasing the anxiety. Releasing the anxiety. As yawning. As yawning. I have so many ways to release it. I have so many ways to release it. I just have to become aware of it. Just have to become aware of it. And, be and welcome it. And welcome it. Instead of pushing it away. Instead of pushing it away. Because when I allow it. Because when I allow it. The worst that can happen. The worst that can happen. Is that it will transform. <laughs> is that it will transform. It will transform into something better. It will transform into something better. And, it will, and with this transformation. And with this transformation. I will be grounded. I will be grounded. Rooted to the present moment. Rooted to the present moment. So breathing in. Ha! Ah, breathing out from your mouth. Breathing in again. Longer exhale, as long as you can take. Breathe out, blow out from your mouth. And one more time, breathing in. Breathing out. That's good. So you know what? I believe in doing those little, little doses. That's why I'm doing this 15 minutes every day. 
you know, we can't have a big bite of what you say, wellness in one day. So let's do it little, little bite every day. Let's nibble onto it. Let's digest it. Let's again eat it. Let's digest it and change ourselves. This little bit of tapping that we just did is definitely changing the way you're going to think. Your patterns are changing and it's a process. So allow yourself time. Show me what your SUDs are. Let's see. Where are you now? How are you feeling? Good. Six to one, one. Very good. Very good. Beautiful. Beautiful. One. Amazing. Seven to four. Great. Nine to five. Four now two. Good, 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 good. Five to one. Wow. Wonderful. 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 Feeling good. Very nice. Very nice. So that's about it for today. And um, I'll see you tomorrow for anxiety. Sorry, that's the topic for tomorrow, anxiety. I said it. I wanted to just not say it. So we'll see it. for. We'll meet again tomorrow for anxiety. I can take two questions. If you have, give me your questions. Any two that pop up first, okay? If you feel very cold, it is okay. Drink some nice warm water. Have some, like, you know, good tea or coffee. I wouldn't say tea, coffee. Sorry, not tea, coffee. They will block our emotions. Have something warm, warm to drink, you know. Some day I feel anxious for no specific reason. Can I do EFT without any specific words? Yeah, you can just say, I'm feeling anxious. I'm feeling anxious. I don't know why I'm feeling anxious, but I am anxious. And then you allow that anxiety, welcome it. Let it come into your body and then release it out of your body. So good question. Thank you. So Kaveri says, in the whole session, I cried. I used any hand. I told you any hand is okay. Right hand, left hand. You can just stay at one point. Even that is okay. You cannot tap and you can just touch the point. Even that is okay. So great. And thank you for joining me. And I'll, that's it. See you. Bye-bye. Take care.